<clears throat> Good morning. And God bless you. May he keep you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. For today is the day that you have made and given to us. <sighs> Something I always think about is how we as people in general try to justify <laughs> how we are so that we can continue to be that way whatever way it is and then I think about well who do we represent who do you or I represent why are we here we're here to represent we're here to grow and move from faith to faith and glory to glory as the Holy Spirit changes us gives us new desires the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it, he'll give us the desires of our heart. <laughs> Thanks be to Christ that God doesn't give us the desires of our heart before. He changes us. And if you think he does, well, then your God may not be the same as mine. <sighs> Who do we represent? <sighs> People will use the times mentioned in the Bible that <clears throat> Jesus drank wine as a justification to drink alcohol because we're a justif justified type of people before we truly give ourselves completely to him I've been there I want to justify my drinking and drugging because of the things that I'm going through or maybe a loss maybe because I'm mourning whatever the excuse is it's a justification to do what my flesh wanted to do all along and I just had a better hand on it before the issue of loss or issue of problems or <clears throat> Who do we represent? It doesn't matter. I don't, you know, if you drink huh, or drug controllably or uncontrollably, that one time that you decide to use the Bible and bend it to your fleshly desire you're sinning <laughs> we're called to be sober minded we're called to have self control we're called to integrity at the highest level We have to have the empowerment of the Holy Spirit to do these things that we're called to do, that we're called to represent. Now, Jesus, God, man, was unlike any other person that ever walked this earth. And I... And I know 
because he was God, man. <laughs> he could do things that we couldn't do. But he tells us that we'll do the things that he's done and greater things because we have his spirit living inside of us. So is it really us doing these things? No. It's him living inside us doing these things. Anytime you have conviction, anytime you feel convicted about something that you've said or something that you've done or or that somebody else has said and it's given you conviction about yourself. I'd look real close at that. Because that's probably the spirit. Actually, I know that's the spirit of Christ. Of God. Convicting you in that moment. Whether it be something somebody said on here, something that you that you said, something that you did that you didn't really, that you thought you could do do it a different way, and the and the and it goes on, you know. <laughs> I just want to be one with him. Am I perfect? By no means. Can I be perfect? Christ lives in me through the Holy Spirit. Christ's Spirit lives in you. And He can do anything. <laughs> Nothing He can't do. Nothing God can't do. I'm amazed every day at the things that I see. Let alone the things that I don't see. <laughs> So yesterday I went and met my probation officer and uh, she seemed like a fair lady. And uh, <clears throat> the ball's rolling. We're uh, gaining on this three years probation, you know, already. And it just started, you know, but we're gaining on it. And, uh, I thank you, Lord, that I have another thorn in my flesh to keep me. May the Lord keep you. <coughs> Hope you guys have a blessed day today. I'm just sitting out here on my porch. Thinking about what I represent. And do I represent it to the fullest? Do I represent my king to the fullest that I can? Or is there something that's still holding me back in justification? Am I still trying to live by the law instead of under grace? No, I don't much live by the law. Because I know that that would make the crucifixion of my king of none effect. But because I am under grace and because the Holy Spirit does live in me, I want to keep the law. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Keep that in mind. Be sober-minded. What is it to be sober-minded? Who do you represent? <laughs> These are the things that I ponder. These are the things that the Holy Spirit would have me ponder. God over everything. Jesus is my king. Bye.